yeah let's get into the arena rush the thing that we're actually here for defense is already set and gucci it's already winning that's even more gucci you i didn't rerun yet uh you need a, a little bit of a blade rune Okay, that's all good. These kind of themes I still don't really like to hit. I could hit it with this, but it looks dangerous. Let's see how much and how often we will actually use the Megami. I do have Megami ruined up in well, just that theme, but I could use it with the Rogan or Alicia as well if it so seems fitting. But let's see if we're actually going to be using it. Okay, against the Lydia, it would work if we do actually manage to fully outspeed it, but we're not going to fully outspeed that. Right, who is missing runes in this? I of course. Because of course, still in that little Dabra run. Wait, I didn't freeze anything. Oh great. Didn't create that either because of the... Oh wait, now it would actually revive if it's worked to get a skill off. Interesting uh, first hit. No freezes from you. And we did manage to crit on you on the 15. But it is not lost as of yet. A 10th streak for watching the streams. All room is OP, boys. Back to those kind of teams. How did I go for prelims? I think the prelims today were really cool. We had some really cool drafts in there. I'll showcase all of the runes at the end of the rush. Wait, normally you have to be faster than you. Right? Yeah, I have to change that up. You have to be faster than you. Not sure. Wait, no, I just need a little bit of speed. Shouldn't be that much of an issue. That is already fastest in slot, fastest in slot. I think if I just do this, it is already fine. Coming out of fight runs, I imagine. Could hit that, but I don't want to. This cannot be probably. It's hard getting a good uh, rush without a good idea. That is true, but I still think a lot of people overvalue how much AD does and should be focusing more on their offense. How would you use Hurtite if you had it? Probably just in the Rift Beasts, nowhere else. This is exactly where I wanted to use the Megami. So this is something I normally couldn't hit because of Reflex. But I'm very curious to see how this will work right now, because we can go for this. And now we can go for this skill without taking any damage. Then this one can go, I guess it will kill you half. Okay, that is, that is cool. That is something we normally couldn't hit. That is, that's making him best in slot against this. I didn't really expect to see a team like this all too much, but without him, I could absolutely not hit that. Sienna better than Poseidon in your comp against Björn Jules it is. Plus Sienna has the second life, which also makes it a little bit interesting. And Sienna damage is actually quite high. She just has to absorb the UR or take away the attack bar. She doesn't absorb it. Would be cool if she absorbed. Was that Wind Megami? Yeah, in the previous round was uh, Wind Megami. But there's only a few things where it's actually very good against. But I think we might see a few more spots. 
Uh, in this case, if you don't hit that... Discord, if you do exclamation mark, Discord, you will get there. We work on the casting, thank you, thank you. It was a very enjoyable cast today. It was a bit longer than yesterday. Oh wait, that thing is still turned off. Wait, I had to turn it off for the... Um, the cast. Let me turn the cloud bolt back on. These kind of hits, well, it's just a big question. Do I outspeed the Rakan or not? But I was thinking about using this against that too. Let me turn back on the Pop Pot. If, if I do outspeed it, it should be all Gucci. Now you can do this, and then that, and then the Samath damage is non existing as well. Because of this. You can still get Despair Stun, but it's a lot better to get Despair Stun than fully die, right? Well, I kind of like it over there. I would still say that I would like him a lot more if he did get Speed Awakening, but that might make him a little OP. I'm not sure if everyone would agree with that one. Ah, this, we can still use the Dog Team. Good old Dog Team. Uh, after nerf, I, I'm not sure because this is the first time I'm rushing after the nerf, actually. So I'm not 100% sure about that. Killing my units. Ah, that's fine. Mm. Yep, I en enabled the bot again. Uh, this is not gonna do any anything against this. Would be a little OP. Maybe so. It would be the first boost with attack buff and attack boost on a speed awakening. But then again, if you look at its skill 2 and skill 3, those are, to a certain extent, pretty non-existing. So I don't even think it would be that OP. We may, may be kind of on the OP side, I can see that, yeah. Are you enjoying the commentary team? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think Sam and uh, Adam are great people. Doing a great job as well. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the cast is uh, definitely enjoyable. And it's a lot less stressful. Being a player is stressful. That is an interesting one. Best siege defenses. I'm not sure if there's a site like that. The only siege site out there is SWGT, but I don't think it necessarily says what the best defenses are. Have you rewatched Apex matches? No, I actually didn't. I just checked who won, and I'm one of those people that if I check who won, I don't really feel like checking the actual full match later again. Top 10 uh, today, Arena Rush? Yeah, we're, we're aiming for that. Top 10 is at least always the aim. Well, the aim is always cheat. Best match of prelims? I would probably say sap in 2-2. Two two. I really did enjoy that match. Artificial 
They were throwing all kinds of weird LDs at one another. It is double water, plus I can't... No, I shouldn't do this. Double wind plus that makes it a little bit too hard to land things. Kaylee was crushing everybody. I did see a few of the matches from Kaylee and Bal. He played very well, yeah. And he wasn't even spamming LDs or anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the biggest Chow fan. I might have uh, let people know on that one. <laughs> I'm also not going to be the biggest Chow fan. Ain't going to happen, man. Not for me. Uh, this is math could be annoying for that. Why is that? I think Chao is a bit overrated. Like, sure, it can do stuff when he pops off. But in most cases, you expect Chao to start popping off and 1v4ing, and then Chao is gonna do the exact opposite. Pretty much as that you expect your unit to freeze over here and then decide freezing? Fuck no. So, yeah, Chao is one of those kind of units where you expect it to do shit, and then it's like doing shit? Nah. Not today. I don't like doing shit. But it doesn't matter. We have other good units here. And that's also the thing with Chao. Chao is mostly like really depending on his other units. Like, sure, don't get me wrong. Chao placed in a good fitting draft where Chao becomes actually unkillable. It is doable. But the thing is to get Chao unkillable, you need to be fighting really low damage. Because we saw it in that one match where there was a Chao against... Um, I don't even remember exactly what it was. But Chao got armor broken and he died to like three S1s from supports at some point. I'm like, yeah, that doesn't make Chao un unkillable. But what about the right draft? Yeah, if it's a really fitting draft, sure, Chao is pretty good. But it's, it's hard to get the super right draft for a Chao. In. But yeah, I'm not a Chao fan. I didn't see in Asia if they were using a lot of Chows in Asia as well. Because the same thing is like, oh, you expect your Chow to be cleansing everything. No, it's a cleansing just two. And just two means if I lock in three, four, or five, your Chow is still gonna get the, uh, all kinds of stuff. They were spamming him? Really? I should ch recheck those matches then, wow. No, actually, uh, I haven't checked uh, those matches. Maybe that's something that Europe started uh, looking at and then... Because I was surprised about the amount of Chows, really. There were so many Chows picked, especially today. Yesterday, not as much. But today, there were a lot of Chows. Juno killed Chow with the death break? Exactly. Like, man, it, it, Chow doesn't... It's, it's not a great survivor. Cope Julian. Yeah, it's a Julian without well pretty much all of that Julian does. <laughs> and there's very little things that it does do. This thing could be very fast. He has two super fast units. It's not that fast though. Without damage, yeah, it's without damage. Without stun. Uh, you mean loser's bracket? Next Saturday. Finally got Smizer. Nice, nice. Yeah, Smizer's still a nice unit. We did see a decent amount of Smizer today. Some peace of mind. 
named the bracket after you? Wait, what do you mean? Win Megami Arena Rush? Yes, sir. Well, I only use one fitting. I'm not gonna spam it, of course. It could fit in here, but then... It's a weird fit. No, it doesn't fit that well. Like, I can only use it if I have an easy outspeed. Who's this spec? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that joke that fast. Yeah, the days for, like, the casting were pretty busy with. I still was doing videos and content on that side. And also having the rehearsals, the cast itself, so slightly on the tired side. Meta, this year's very first style. It is. It is. It's absolutely the Valajul Sagar kind of style of meta. But then outside of it, it's pretty much everything. Would you say Sian in this team is worth running up? No, you have Talisman. Talisman is an upgraded version of Sian. They do, do you suggest we don't have Byungcho for G3? Oh, you're you're asking to get G3 without Byungcho and Camilla? That is a uh, hard achievement right there. Like, if you don't have LD5s for defense, you need to have a pretty good offense. But without Camilla's or Byungcho, you don't see too many defenses these days. He's L plus 3. Yeah, that would be a nice take. That's Bioncho Violent Procs. Hey, that's what Bioncho does, man. That's what Bioncho does. Wait, this team... What we do... Uh, it's a little bit tricky that I don't land armor breaks on that one. This one, however... It has the revive, which is a little bit annoying. Wait, actually, in... In that case, I could simply go for... Do I still have it? Yep. Let's see how much this is. You have a slow clear kind of team. Uh, me, I have it with the dot team. My dot team is slow clear team. Okay, I should at least kill two. Maybe three. Oh, wow. Mm, okay. No attack buff, by the way. What the fuck was that damage? There was another one similar to that, right? Maybe a little bit harder to hit. What is the dot team? It is a fire hacker with Heigang, Nora, and Rika. Wow, that's some proper damage right there, uh, Mr. Grogan. I'm liking it. Why is the budget damage out with the uh, kind dragon over there? If you don't have a Nora, I think Nora's the most core in that whole team. Like anything else you can kind of replace, but the Nora's the hardest one to replace because it's just a great healer with dots. And then also the skill for that does an insane amount of damage. Does Kuma counter the dot team in ID? No. Juno's pretty much one of the most straightforward counters to dot team. That's why we see a lot of Junos on defense. Amber, Seth, Mugwang for dots. Yep, th those are good replacements. I would still like Nora in there, but if you have Mugwang, you at least have some of the healing in, which is uh, an important part. Yeah, then you could work around with like a Mugwang, but you have to be more careful because your healing is going to be uh, bad. I'm not sure if there's another healer that also provides dots that you can maybe utilize. Braha? Yeah, I would rather like something that can heal more on regular base. 
like a common heal all the time kind of heal. Do you think Summoner's War will last another 10 years? Bro, I don't even know what I eat for breakfast tomorrow. Don't ask me those difficult questions. I don't do future planning that much. Too much effort. Just ask Alien Bow. <laughs> fair, fair. I tried to fit him in where he fits. I think he's only best in slot four against Samath, against Alexandras, and against Lydia's. Anything else you still want to use in Adriana? Let me show you the dot team. Yeah, it's like one of those questions where they, they ask at the interview for your job. It's like, what do you see you doing in 10 years? And then I, I'm, I'm the person that just keeps thinking, do not say your mama, do not say your mama, do not say your mama. And then he asks the question, he's like, what are you going to do in 10 years? Your mama? Shit. <laughs> I would be absolutely one of those guys, man. Holy shit. Don't fucking ask me what to do in 10 years. I don't fucking know. People that make plans for in 10 years, hey, good for you, man. I hope it I hope it works out, but probably it won't. But it's good to have like guidance of what you want to focus on because otherwise you have no goal in life, but hey. I work perfectly fine without that, so I don't mind. Mm, do we clear this this way? I actually do want to give it a try on this one too. It might be that this one is too tanky for it. Land for 10 years in this economy? Yeah. It's also like these... I love these memes. It's like... Man, I should have bought a house like 20 years ago. But instead I was just buying, like building sand castles kindergarten <laughs> i was wasting my time bro <laughs> like those kind of memes i'm like yeah kind of <laughs> well my former boss i wanted his job that, that's the thing that's the thing that you that's actually not a really bad answer to be honest like someone asks you what do you see yourself doing in 10 years and you say your job it's like hey you're looking for that kind of promotion it's not too bad of an answer to be honest But then again, like, that, that's really the thing of current day and age. Everyone has to be driven to get just more out of their life, make more money, get greater things, blah, blah, blah. Always bigger, 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 bigger. But wh why would you not just be satisfied with the current job you do if you don't absolutely hate it? Right? There's, uh, there's that option. Because assuming that you have to do something different in 10 years than you're doing right now means that what you're doing right now is not good enough. I guess. And good thing we're not all raised by Asian parents that said, you're doctor yet? So you don't have to strive that much, I guess. Sure, it's good to, to have some people that want to strive for greatness and stuff. I don't know. I repaired cell phones for 40 years. Hey, that, that's a, that's an honest job, man. Someone got to do that kind of stuff, right? They got laid off. Yeah, that part sucks, but... Ice arenas are scuffed. You have 1600 point points. What happened? Oh, you have a soft reset and a hard reset. Like, the difference between those two. That, that's what happened. What do you think about AD or Smith, Drake, Talis, Man, and Ludi? I don't really like AO units on AD that much. Because if they derp, they're just weak. Plus, you can easily outspeed that whole team. Sorry off topic, but 
Was that 56k crystals? No, it was not. I think I have like 20 ish. And yes, as um, Beastrix mentioned, I am free to play. Uh, would you guys skip half as times to same? And what? It is annoying enough that quite some people might skip it. But there are definitely ways to kill it. But it might be annoying enough that people might skip it, yes. At least it is unseen enough that people might skip it for that reason. Because that's always a factor. If people just haven't seen it that much in high ranks, they don't feel the need for it to build a counter against it. But the moment that more people start picking up that defense, then it's gonna be built more counters against, I guess. Or removed, I guess, that's just how it works. Dot team good with, uh, with, uh, without Seth? Yeah, this team is without Seth, and I like it more on the Dark Hacker than uh, Seth, actually. Magni. Yeah, you can one-shot them one by one. Like, it's really the question, do a lot of people have, like, the one-shots uh, ruined up? Because those one-shots will absolutely destroy it. That looks like a whole pile of nothing. And I did get a few more of those. Let's just claim until I'm at 90, that's fine. Don't have to bother at that for a little while. Yeah, I also have to be looking at a different style of defense, I think. This one kind of has me figured out. Oh, wait, I did have a switch. I do have a switch. It's just, I'm not 100% sure who would I rather take out the Camilla or the Bunchel. Bunchel's still an annoying unit, right? The Grogan is actually doing more work than I expected it. I really wonder when they will add new 2As. It really feels like they whole abandoned the whole 2A project, kind of. They're like, nah, it doesn't make us enough money. Never mind. Let's call it a day on those. Low too strong. Yep, Giselle defenses definitely work. Rogan or Vader for Dia from Blessing? Ooh, interesting one. Um, I would say if you care about RTA slash Siege, I would go for the Vader. If you care about Arena Offense, I would go for the Grogan. I think in most cases I would probably recommend Peter to go, or uh, people to go for Peter. Do I Garuda? Yeah, but also there, there's a whole bunch of good 2A possibilities, right? Thank you for not rocking. I got Grogan between those two. Well, actually, myself, I haven't been using that much Grogan until like the, the few hits that you see with the Grogan that I do at the moment. But Grogan is definitely not bad. There's definitely some options for him out there, yeah. Would I be able to outspeed this? It's kind of a gamble. It's a 118 base. But... Drunken Masses is my biggest uh, that I would like to see for 2As. Don't think Drunken Masses will get their 2As though, because I think they would be maybe a little bit too strong. But if you would ask me any 2As, Drunken Masses, 100%. If we land on this, it is still the same way of hitting it. Yeah, I think there's good odds for like a Tark 2A because I think Jubegu made a video on that like a long time back already. That all of the units that you have as enemies in all of the stages of Elunia and Karazhan and all of those kind of things. Those are supposedly the units that you should be getting as 2As as well. So with that assumption in mind, then it should be the case that uh, we will get uh, 
Wait, can I kill? No. Okay, I can still kill. But in that case, we would be getting a... Uh, I think it's a Tark, like the Hellhounds. And I think there's like one or two more that were still missing, but I'm not entirely sure. You should have uh, compete in SWC. I just got my ass clapped by... Uh, what's it called? By Zara222. I would lose to these people, man. These people fucking OP. Now, maybe I could compete, but in this case, was like, nah. Uh, would I outspeed this? Not sure how fast that nausea would be. But Europe server is hella OP, man. Let me tell you that. Just to qualify, you need an insane rank already. Because uh, apart from Glorious, Glorious was like rank 38. I think everyone else was around like mid 20s. It's just an insane rank in the first place. His skill too is actually not too bad for the pushback. I would be happy if I compete. Man, I, I was actually... Yesterday I was watching uh, some of the replays of matches that I did in the past. So prelims that I did in the past. I was like, yo, I actually do feel like I want to compete again. Uh-oh. Uh, it does manage to land it. That sucks. It is 100 rest, though. So the odds of landing that isn't too high, I guess, would be maybe 100 KRC unit. Could be. Well, if I would put in a Rakan, I would make it 100 KRC, so. But yeah, I was watching my um, prelims of previous years. I was like, ah. Uh, I do want to play again. But then again, I also feel like it's just so much stress and things. Plus, I was like for the last two years, I wasn't really on the A game of playing well enough that I feel like I can properly compete. So, yeah, you have those two things going on. Uh, you have to be top four for prize money. And I was top eight uh, four times. So, I was four times one match away from prize money, which is, I don't care that much about the prize money, but it's kind of annoying. You get paid to cast? Yes, you do. Ooh, those are a lot of despair stunts. Which of course is also an option to happen. But the casting as well, I don't really do it for the money at all. It's, that's not my intention. Like I said, I live a simple life. I don't have that many expensive things. Yeah, with an Adriana, you have a lot better cleanup over here. That is absolutely true. Cleanup right now is not that clean. Because I struggle killing this stupid thing at the moment. Also not sure how much crit rate I put on you, maybe too much. And you critting also doesn't help. Man, that thing is tanky yeah. yeah. And you stop rocking! Going a little bit back and forth on attempting to kill it. No, that was the one timing I had to land that. If I landed it there, I would have had like pushbacks and everything. Okay, please stick it. Hard hit. Decent hit. Why do you proc? Why do you start resisting at that moment? Uh, uh, I'm wasting so much time on this stupid match. Should have been so easy.
Yeah, it's still early in the rush. That is true. That is true. Yep. You think Cammy needs a nerf? No, this was just RNG. This was just all RNG. Because now I do the retry and you see it instantly die and shit, and then you're like, wait, why was this team even good? Like, what a world of difference, right? Now suddenly it feels like the worst team out there. Two turns invest for Megami would be too OP? Maybe, maybe. I. Yeah, I think that would be a little bit too much. I'd rather see him get base speed awakening, which might be arguably also too OP, but... I think that would be more fun for a skit in the first place. Are you using RTA? Uh, no, I would not. Okay, my defense is getting hit a bit. Hmm. Are these YouTube safe songs? Nope, that's why they're not going on YouTube. Does have the extra defense because of you, but don't think it is great enough. I'm getting a lot of losers, which I don't like to see. Let's switch to math for a math. Do we also switch to Camilla? No, I think we're just gonna switch to math for a math. Ah, look at Claw, he's so OP, man. Too high up. Marsha, would that be a Swift Marsha? It's not gonna do anything. Hold on, anyways. Good job. I saw the vision, but I didn't like it. Sienna's such a good looking unit. I agree. I very much agree. What the hell is even that? Very interesting. It's gonna die. So math on defense could be despair, could be a lot of things. Oh, okay, Miles, are you done? Too bad that you managed to get too stunned. And I like that Rika to take its turns. Boop. Some damage. Not enough. You did. How much did you spend on average? I don't even know. It's also very different per month though, but I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm one of those people.
Full damage to math on defense. Yeah, you do see that as well. Wait, too, too much text for me to read fast. Um, you go for Leo, Bath, Riley, Kaki against those teams. Or does it work in lower ranks? I think it is not too bad, but it could be a little bit annoying. Man, I just, I just need that thing. That's all I need. I need a Giselle, then my defense is Gucci again. Yeah, Bionjo is pretty easy to kill at the moment. I feel like uh, even if my Grogan one-shots Bionjo's, Maybe I should remove the Bionjo and go for the Camilla on my defense. Because I feel like Bionjo's, it can still provide a lot of damage. That part of him is still strong. But the part of him which was unkillable before, it's definitely not. Doesn't feel like the unkillable thing. I do want to see, however, did they start getting victories? Nope, just started getting a few Liz hits. Doesn't change much. Uh, I'm checking that you are the wrong one, so you are the right one. <laughs> How to check your units without checking your units. Uh, yeah, Rosit uh, qualified and Vicious qualified. We use Wounds over Triton on defense? No. Because people can go in full non will. Uh, that is a little bit annoying. Let's see if we can kill this first. Don't proc. I said do not proc. Oh well, if you use that skill, it's still totally fine. 39k on that S2. Holy shit! Yeah, Vicious is uh, a sapin. That's why it's a new name, but not a new name. Oh, not that one. Ah, oh, this one. Boost that needs a buff as Gianna? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. To always boost no matter what. Yeah, I kind of agree. Say new Dark Gojo's cheat code in RTA. If B lands, he's very good. That's the only... Uh, he, he kind of has the ISIS issue on that one, right? Ooh, Rosa being super high up, liking the defense. Hmm, a lot of annoying defenses out there. This we can probably... Our Gojo needs a buff? I'm not sure. I think if we're talking buffs and like buffs in general and all of the clap units, Dark Gojo is probably the furthest away from needing a buff. How much do you spend on average in the month? Well, I just replied to that question and I said, I don't know. And if that's not the answer you would like to hear, well then, sucks to be you! Say like Guzu, your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend, so, no. Also, I have no clue who that would be. Ooh, we got a Roachin in the chat. I haven't seen you in a while, my man. How you doing? Uh, no pushback. And a good amount of stuns. Those are two things we do not like to see over here. Let's go one shoot kill. Yep. Good she stuns. How's life, Mr. Erosion? Still dating the same girl? Back, getting back into the swing of things. Cool, cool. When was the last time we saw each other? I think Korea two years ago? It's been a while, man.
what does soft reset mean in arena okay so uh, the moment that the ranking resets there's either a soft or a hard reset hard reset means that everyone goes back to like about 1300 something points and then soft reset means that uh, you pretty much stay at the same points that you ended off last week if there is soft reset it means that there the points of everyone are just way higher than in the case of a hard reset because hard reset everyone just goes down for points so that's where the difference in one week you're going to be super high in points and being a lower rank than the other week around. What happened to the music? Just clicked play, but this song has an intro. Just talking on and off about it on stream yesterday. Ah, cool. I haven't seen your stream in a while, man. I think I haven't seen you stream since Korea, pretty much. But maybe just the time difference. Uh, wait, not that one. Uh, this one. I think that Grogan would want shit this as well, because most of them are light. Uh, I should use my own Kabila if I want to outspeed this. That's, that's an important factor. It's a very important factor. Not misclicking my own team. Thank you, Kabila enemy side for derping. I appreciate that. But yeah, it's somewhat of an important factor not to use the wrong team. That's kind of, kind of, slightly. We'll take a little bit of luck. Hey, any day, man. It's part of the game, part of the game. Funny how the Bjornchol dies, but the Vanessa doesn't. <laughs> Bjornchol defense is maybe no longer the real thing. It can still dish out a lot of damage if it goes right, but it doesn't seem as dominant anymore as it used to. I feel like a lot of things can probably one-shot the Bjornchol right now, whereas before it was always kind of on edge. Can you one-shot? Can you not one-shot? Now it's just probably Leia's just thread through it and stuff. We can auto from here. That's the cool thing about the dot team. In most cases, you can just at some point start autoing. It's even faster. There's a bug on Water S3. It says it stuns, which is false. It really? Not heard about that yet. Also, haven't used the uh, Water Monkey since last balance patch as well. This is the one we can deal with. You. Trying to. He never does. Wait, he never stuns? How does that work? But also the first one that tells me that the uh, counter... Nice miscrits. I like your miscrits. I don't like those kind of things too much though, but... Still fine. Megami. Kind of working. I think I'll keep Megami ruined at all times for Rush if I keep using this kind of team. It's still worse than Adriana in a lot of the setups, but in a few setups where it's better, it's actually working pretty nice. I... Oof. 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 Is that bad? How bad is it? Scale of 1 to very bad. Did not... I could have expected that thing to be very fast. I didn't. I was not smart. But on a scale of one to very bad, not that bad. Could have been a lot worse. Still unskilled. <laughs> well, I think if I would run a uh, what's it called a monkey right now, I would probably put it speed attack attack. I think. Wait, how does my music scare you for turning off? Rank 4, we're not getting as many hits at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
Would I be able to hit this with a Krogan? Nah, I would be fighting too long against that Camilla. That's probably not fun. We do not like the matches that are not fun. This is probably not going to be fun either. Well, I could... I'm kind of thinking about I could kill it, but then again, also not really. And these are a lot of the copies of what I'm currently running. Okay, a lot of teams that I don't like to hit. Let's just hit a few people over here. Can we do this team? No, I think it is safe. Cooked. And I yeet. I think he sped that one up because normally I, that one didn't move before me, but yeah, I think he sped up his whole team. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Well, that is a little bit of a stunner, ain't it? This cloud? No, this is a, a Maligant. Firehacker you most want? Firehacker is really cool, yeah. The great units. Okay, let's just wait out 10. It's not that much time. I'm also not sure who's rank 1 right now, because Maligant apparently isn't. Uh, we could hit this one real quick. If I do stick the death breaks, that is going to be the important factor. Now we did crit this one. Yep. But that is still fine. If we kill one, we can live in the other one. Gonna be rank one in a few minutes. Who knows? Who knows? Probably not. But Low is over there. Uh, yes, those are different accounts, but as far as I know, Maligant is often piloted by fishes. But that's as far as I know, so I'm not 100% sure if that's true. But a good uh, 95. Epic TL Link Showcase. Not doing too much. We did have quite a bit of TL Links today in uh, SWC though. They didn't work that well. A yeet. Or skill you so you don't have to revive. Hmm, there is double wind to this, which might make things a little bit more difficult for you to land. Well, let's just get it back. I also had a few chows. We had a lot of chows. For my liking, we had too many chows. Some worked better than others, though, because some did nothing at all. Some were okay. Wait, how the... I love it how they nerfed Nefties to be less consistent for whatever reason. They were like, come to us, Nefties is very consistent. Yeah, let's just give it a silence chance of missing for like, uh, about like a few percent. Oh, Roset's super high up. Roset OP. The man, the myth, the legend himself. Probably also a Neftif, um, I can't even speak, Neftis abuser. And a Yeet. 
Yeah, I think the Mega Me is definitely uh, worth this uh, tries over here. Oh, that can be pretty bad that I didn't push back that one. Okay, still having your attack buff. Okay, at least we killed two. Can we push this back? We did absorb that. That's... Okay, that is fine. Uh, we do have to fight this uh, annoying Camilla fight without an Adriana once again, which is a little bit more annoying. But I'm happy that you're focusing that thing. That is uh, pleasant. No, not that one. The other one. Yes, that one. That one. Very good. Uh, let's remove that. And we're one turn away from skills. Left one, please. The other left. Mother yucca. Why does Camilla always know what to freeze, when to freeze, how to freeze? And proc. Second time we pretty much have issues with just a Camilla soloing. Now you should be switching targets. So it should be fine, it's just taking freaking forever. Okay. Also too much wind for my liking. Hmm, Venus being pretty high up as well. Uh, this one, duh, duh, duh. let's just try this again. I did notice that his Triton would just move before my Grogan, but then it's a very low. T oh no, wait, last I'm pretty sure against Jet last time that Triton moved. Strange. Very confident that the Triton would move. But then it was still 1 in 4 plus glancing rate for him to not transfer anything to the Grogan, so. Would have been fair and fine with that either. How? Okay, let's do the 30 crystal safe deck. 30 crystal safe deck. Do I outspeed Reach? I do know Reach is pretty fast, but does he put those fast runes to his defense? The answer is uh, no. Forty-five k on that lore and no attack buff. Stacking on the enemy speed. Also, the Laura next to a Triton kind of feels redundant. It's too much of the same, if you were to ask me. Uh, this one, I think we can rock the same team. It would have been safer with the Dot team, but since we're that late into the rush, might as well speed things up by a, a little bit. Definitely for the kills that you try to make, we see the damage reduction on the Bjuncho by a fair amount. You get a few hits in, but also a victory. Can we get... If I can find two more hits, Jet, we know we can clear with the Grogan. Wait, I like this time he did cut. Wait, that's the exact same one that didn't cut in the previous. How does that even work? Um, oh, and also you missed the silence. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, still fine. Oh, getting legend for a beast? It is an option way. We have one minute left. Ah, oh, we're that high up. Okay, m maybe not the saving 30 tech then. But I think I can only get one more hit off if I can even find the proper hit. Shall see. But yeah, I think getting Legend on Beastrix account shouldn't be that hard now. Yes, all of the tools for a good offense and good defense. Okay, we need those two not to proc. At least the Gizel nuts. Thank you. Can we find one more hit in this amount of time? Nope, we got hit down. We we're just gonna YOLO it. Too little time otherwise, anyways. 
Can we kill the Juno? We holy shit, that Grogan damage though. It surprised me a few times already, but that Grogan is doing so much work. Okay, did get hits twice down in the final few seconds. But that's another rank to, to add to the pile. I'm still pretty sure from every server out there, I have the most amount of rank twos ever. But I don't mind. That was a pretty solid rush. That was an enjoyable rush. I did like the Mega Me quite some. I didn't spam it all the time, but where it was used, it was actually working very well. And it's just the main thing that anti the Samath, anti the Lydia, anti the Alexandra, it worked out very well. So let me just go through the runes. This thing was just a triple fight. I think I should lower the crit rate, but I think... Does he awaken into crit rate? Could be, I don't know. Probably. It could be awakening resistance. Well, I don't know what he awakens into, but... Holy resistance. But yeah, he just needs some speed to it. That's just fine. This thing, triple fight, usual. Uh, this thing was also the standard way that I do it. However, I changed this artifact. Normally, I had a damage on wind artifact. I felt like maybe I didn't really need it that much. But maybe the wind to finalize a kill on a Byung Chul might still be better. This one was the accuracy one with all kinds of crit damages, which I actually do like more. Uh, Tiana was a little bit faster on the Tiana this case because I did use the Mega Me. So I do think that a little bit faster of a Tiana does fit with that. And uh, then this thing was not that interesting. Triple fight. Um, people were asking for the Alicia. Alicia's like this. You focus mainly on crit damage, a little bit of accuracy to land that skill 3 on the freeze. And then mainly crit damage and those kind of things. I still have damage on wind on her because I think killing the Byuncho is by far the most important. And then this uh, thing is like, it's a 37 on the 2 if you would add that all up together. So that's the main thing. Um, then what else did I use? Dot team I used. Uh, dot team is just... Tanky, 100 res throughout, except for the Hay Gang, and then a little bit of accuracy and mainly tank. That's, that's just the main thing. Is Burgelt Vio good with an AD for rush? I'm not sure. I don't really hit any Burgelts myself, but I'm not sure if that is a core thing that most people don't. Oh, and then we had the Grogan, of course. This was the Grogan, but he did a lot of damage. I really did like it. He does have pretty much my best artifacts for attack. Uh, 20. It is a quad roll, which is technically a sad quad because it's not 21 and up. And this one is just a very good overall artifact. But And he's slightly cheating on having an attack too, while not being a swift one. <laughs> so this is a 33 with a quad and this is a 34 with a quad. So he might be a little bit cheating on the kind of runes that he has. And I'm not showing Kabila because that just shows too much of my stuff. But yeah, I can still upgrade this one for another, like, three, which is very nice. But Grogan did do very well. Uh, I think I'll keep... I was thinking about not ruining the Grogan because I actually put back the runes that he used for the inter-server rush. I was like, Grogan, I don't really need it. But in the end, I was like, ah, I might as well just add in Grogan too. I'm happy I added in the Grogan. I definitely do think I will keep him in there. He's, he's working pretty well. I think right now, with the, how the current meta is, I might not even need Sienna. And just kill everything with the Grogan. It's just that I like Sienna more to clear up the Camillas. Because in the end, I do think Grogan would do more damage. But the Sienna S2 is a lot better for cleanups rather than this S2. This one is decent in damage, but different S2s. So yeah, pretty solid rush. Pretty solid rush. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more guides, join the Discord and check out the content tab, which has the dungeon guide archive and the video guide archive, which contains all of the guides that you need. Hope to see you there.